welcome back to another video from the What You Are Doing Football channel. So for today's video I thought it would be quite a good idea to do a more up dated version of a video that I did like maybe three or four months ago and it is the applying your own name set and number at your own home. For the last month or so this particular video that I did three or four months ago has actually started to gain just a bit more views and a lot of uh, the questions from yourselves like you know asking like you know for example how high should I have the temperature on the iron where to actually buy your name sets etc so I will try and answer this all into one video and then hopefully this will explain it a bit better on how to put name sets in your home. Uh, before we get into the video I just want to say to everyone a massive massive thank you for hitting one of my targets for this year and um, in a video that I did explain that one of my uh, goals for this year uh, was to hit a hundred subscribers and honestly you guys have absolutely smashed it so thank you so much again I know that 100 subscribers compared to people that have got thousands or hundreds of thousands is a tiny tiny scale on all of these um, football YouTube pages but for me it is massive so honestly guys thank you so much again and keep those subscriptions coming along and so all you are going to actually need for this video when applying your own football name set at home is an iron an iron board of course a very long ruler baking paper and if you so choose to do I only do so because it helps me out just to actually make sure that I'm trying to get the, the name set inch perfect and it is this here it is a official Premier League name set template so for all name sets and it comes with, with all like sort of shapes and the sizes um, on however you want to do your shirt. So they have a youth and they have an adult so sort of lines here for straight line, shallow curve and very shallow curve. But again, that, this is just my own personal preference. If you don't want to use one, that's absolutely fine. But I find that it helps me a lot in terms of trying to get every single letter actually perfect as much as I can do so it does help a lot and I will leave a link in the description as to where I bought this and it is at a cheap price as well as is all the other utensils such as the, uh, the ruler and the baking paper as well only cost a pound each so you won't have any trouble by spending an absolute fortune on stuff when you're putting on your own name set at home. The shirt that we're going to be using for the name set is the Tottenham 2019-20 away kit that we found in a charity shop that I've shown in a few uh, videos ago. I thought it would be quite cool to have one of the most well-known players on the planet and you can probably guess who it is and then um, yeah now for me talking let's just get straight into this on how to do your own name set at home okay so uh we've already got our top laid down nice and flat but what i like to do with any top that i'm doing um, a name set for just to make sure that it's got a nice and flat surface i like to iron like sort of just the, the main bit of the uh, back of the shirt just to doubly make sure that it has got a flat surface so basically what we're going to do we're going to just take our baking paper and the iron is already nice and hot and we're just going to do just a quick sort of run of the back of the shirt just again so it's nice and flat so just to point out as well because um, a lot of other people have asked throughout the last name set sort of tutorial video that I did. So I've got the iron set up to a medium heat. Now, if the name set doesn't go on straight away, when you're putting it on, that is absolutely fine. You can turn it up like sort of bit by bit by bit, and then you will get the letters on in due course, but I wouldn't recommend putting it on to a high heat because that could then one, damage the name set and the shirt at the same time so just try it at a medium heat first and then just do it bit by bit if the name set isn't going on we've got a picture of the name set that we're going to put on so i'm kind of using it as a sort of a template for myself so 
for this. Um, online, there wasn't um, really much I could find out in terms of what the exact sort of uh, measurement is for where to put the name and the name set exactly. So um, basically we're going to be doing it, like I said before, as a template and we'll um, try and get as close as we can do. So uh, what I usually tend to actually do, so um, we've got the ruler here and I place it literally just right in the center of the shirt. Um, so that then it kind of gives me uh, uh, the basis on where the name should actually go. So from the picture, it looks as if it's probably about an inch and a half uh, for where the name actually goes. So that would probably be about here. So I just knocked that out of the way. So probably just about here. So what we're gonna do just afterwards um, with our template. So essentially um, it's almost shallow sort of a curve for the um, name set itself. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna pop the template on and we're gonna get the shallow curve where we want it to actually be and we're going to try and line that up as best as we can just going to try and get that there okay so once you've got an accurate sort of place for where your name set's going to actually be we're going to remove the ruler and then we can now start to place our letters where we want them to actually be now, how we're going to do this, because of course we can't put the letters on top because this template would, would be pointless then. So what we're going to do is that we're almost just going to slide them in and that will, again, just kind of be a kind of a sort of a basis on where we're going to put the letters. So obviously I would recommend usually to start from the inside out and then if you need to rejig anything, then it'll be slightly easier for you to actually do. So, I'm just gonna do this. Now, I have said in every sort of name set video that I've done, do not rush this at all. There is no sort of time limit on how you should do this. Um, and I've said, like I said before, in every name set video to literally take your time it doesn't matter how fast or or how slow you actually do it, you know, because at the end, if you have your name set slightly squint, it's obviously now not going to be worth that much. So, like, you know, not that you're doing it to in increase its, uh, like, the value of the shirt, but at the same time, you don't want to ruin um, your name set and in turn your shirt as well because obviously you're not gonna want to wear your shirt out if the name set is ruined. So just please take your time and you'll get a more accurate a, like a more accurate sort of vet uh, basis on how on how you want your shirt to actually look like. So just gonna so now that we've got the the sort of the basis of, of, of the top of the name set. I've just moved my template just slightly down so I can then get the bottom right so that it curves right and again just so it's a bit more accurate in that sense. So the A can just go slightly more down. So now I'm just kind of doing this by eye now because obviously it can be a bit tricky to try and um, do it with the names um, set template in the actual way. But again, I'm not doing this so I can be quicker. I'm just doing it because I just want to see how it looks from like sort of my eyesight when I look up and how everybody else would see it as well. So I'm just gonna come back here, see how that would actually look. So what I'm gonna do, because what a wee trick that I'd like to 
sort of do as well is that when you think you have it right, you can pull the, the sleeves up so it gives you more of an accurate sort of look of how it may be. So I can see already that the that the E is sort of slightly out, so I'm just gonna push this back in just a little bit. And do it again. Again, I'd like to just take my time on all of the shirts that I actually do, and I would recommend that you do the same for yourself as well. Okay, so once you are essentially happy with where your name is, all we're gonna do now is just repeat the process that we've done in many a video. And we're going to use the baking paper to pop on top. Now, again, just be a bit air cautious with um, putting it on top because obviously it's not gonna be flat down, but if you do press it down straight away, it might move the letters about on where you originally put them. So just to take your time again. Now, when we do press this down, we want to push it right on top so that it sticks down and uh, the letters won't actually move for when we take off the top of the name. So again, just be very gentle. Uh, don't keep the iron pressed down for too long because obviously again that would make a, the outline of the iron pressed into your actual shirt which again we don't want to ruin any of the shirt nor of the name set as well so just for like a few seconds just give it a nice sort of um, squeeze down and I wouldn't and once again and um, don't be sort of too like sort of um hasty and just again just take your time and nine times out of ten you might have to do this again if the um name itself is not stuck down straight away but like i said i would rather be careful and slow and have the result come out as i want it to okay so once you think your letters are down I would probably leave it for maybe 60 to 90 seconds just to let it um, get attached to the actual strip and then we will take it off um, after it's been set. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, so once you've left that from 60 to 90 seconds, we're gonna have a go and see if this will come up. Let's see if we've actually got it first time. And it looks like we have. So when you're taking this off, again, just be really slowly, just so you don't um, rip it off when there's like maybe one half of it on and maybe there's not a half that's actually set yet. So again, I would just recommend just to slowly take it off. And this might sound a bit strange as well, but there's something kind of therapeutic about it. I don't know what it is, but I do quite enjoy doing this part as well. So there we go, so that's the first part. Wonderful, so that is the first part of our name set done. Now we're gonna move on to the number. So again, from the template picture that we've got, again, just shown on screen for you just now, um, if I had to estimate, that's probably about maybe three inches down from where the name sort of ends and where the number starts. So um, this is just me personally, I would probably go for about three inches um, from where the bottom of the, the name sort of ends. So we're gonna, again, just try and get as close to it as we can. I mean, it's good that this strip has got um, the neckline that it actually has, because it kind of almost gives me 
a template for the straight line of where I want to put the actual number. So, so we'll keep that about there. So again, this is not to like straight away like put the number on because we'll do a bit of um, jigging about at the end, but I'm just gonna put the number on here and then we're gonna line it up as best as we can for when we do put it on. So again, with um, most um, shops that you would usually go to have this done, obviously they have the name set all in one sheet, but of course um, um, you can get the, the name set uh, slightly cheaper online. That's why it came with just the singular letters and numbers as well. And this can always be the sort of tricky part when it comes to lining it up and just making sure that you know both the numbers like you know especially if you have two are going to be in line with each other so when you're at a point when you think that it's in line and you think that it's it's probably where it's meant to actually be so what I would usually do is I would take the ruler away just nice and gently so it doesn't move then I would almost just put a straight line on where both of the numbers start so as you can see it's a tiny bit so what I'm gonna actually do I'm gonna just move the zero just up a tiny bit just so it meets where the number one is essentially starting as well I'm just going to check that just to make sure that it's in line as well for where the two numbers meet. I think we might be good to go on this one. Again, just you, you can use the sleeves again as sort of a marker to, to where the numbers actually are. Uh, but yeah, I think we are probably good to go. Again, just to doubly check it through, just to make sure that the tops of the number zeros are equal and just just the bottom of it as well seems to be all good and yeah I think we can start on the last part of the name set and pop our numbers on okay so again it is just the exact same process so we'll put our baking paper down again just nice and gently don't want to push on it too hard just in case again the numbers start to move so again what you do so for the so before I start on this what I usually do with the numbers because we can't press it down just in the, the, the one same uh, the position what I tend to do is I put it down and then I just give it a nice roll down just so that it doesn't have the incline to actually move and then I'll repeat this about maybe two or three times and then the number will stick where you want it to actually be and then from there we can just repeat the same process for what we did with the name. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. So again, I'm just gonna start from the, the corner and just kind of work my way down and just to make sure that's stuck on. Yeah, we're all good there. So again, just the same process as before, just nice and slowly taking it down just so if there's any part of the number that is not stuck down that you're not going to actually rip that off. So, but I don't think we'll have to worry about that, but this seems to be very nicely wonderful so that's the first part done and now just for the last part the number one again just nice and gently that's 
we'll see about this other bit actually, let's see. Yeah, this bit seems to be coming up just a bit easier, so we'll work our way down from this way. Again, just nice and easy. And there you have it. That is your name set, all set, and ready to go and to be used for, for anything, whatever it be, to wear outside or hanging up on your wall now as part of your football shirt collection. So thank you very much for watching that video. I do hope that kind of clears any questions that you guys had be beforehand. And I'll show you the finished product, which I think came out really well um, if you take your time and just was it and just do it pretty much inch by inch then it should come out absolutely fine and you'll have your kit going up slightly higher in value as well just to add to that as well because most people will know that any good name set that's not damaged that's on a shirt will probably add a bit of value to it if you do want to sell it in the future so could we get the bonus there for you but as always guys just to say at, from the start of the, the, the video thank you very much for all the new subscribers and the likes uh, the recently so far but again if you are new to the channel and you do enjoy the football shirt and uh, the content please think about subscribing and smash that like button if you did enjoy this video and i will see you in the next one you take care now bye for now